Okay, before I start today's Retro Bat and Nintendo NES HD Pack setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So a couple of days ago, somebody asked me in one of my Retro Bat videos, can you do or have you done a HD NES texture pack setup guide for Retro Bat? So here we go. So I covered this as a standalone emulator a few months ago for Mezen. And funny enough, today we're gonna to be doing this through Mezen emulation through Retro Bat. So first of all, I'm gonna grab myself a texture pack. So I'm gonna leave the link in my description for this. If we just go to code, you need to download zip just here. And of course, this is for the original Mega Man for the NES. Now I'm also using a Mega Man game just here, which is of course a US version, which is what I own and part of my NES collection. What we're gonna do then, first of all, is take a look at the texture pack we've downloaded. If we just extract the Mega Man Super Main onto the desktop for now, Okay, so once that's been extracted, what we're going to do is go to the RetroBat shortcut, just right click on it, open file location. We're gonna go into the BIOS folder for this. And in the BIOS folder, we're gonna find a folder in there called HD Packs. I'm gonna just drag and drop that Mega Man texture folder inside of there like that. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is just back out of HD Packs and we're gonna to go to the ROMs folder. We're gonna go into the NES folder just here. If we just open this one up and what I'm going to do next is just drag in my Mega Man USA.zip folder in here. Okay, so we got Mega Man USA. What we need to do is make the name of this file identical to the texture pack. So easiest way to do this is just right click on the game show more options rename and if i right click on that blue area go to copy so i've now copied the name of this if i come back out and go into the bios folder and back down to hd packs what i'm going to do is right click on that texture folder show more options rename and i'm then going to paste in the name in here very easy stuff so next thing we're going to do then is open up retrobat Okay, so if you've done this correctly, you're going to find Nintendo. If we go inside Nintendo, press the select button, advanced system options, and if we go under advanced settings, visual rendering, I'm going to go down to custom textures and push this onto yes. If we then open up the game, and here we go, so this is the HD texture pack. Okay, so let me just remind you how this game is supposed to look originally. So again, view options, advanced system options, visual rendering, and just here, custom textures. We're gonna put this on to no this time. If we open up Mega Man again.
as you can see, Mega Man is as solid as always, but there's a 16-bit improvement almost. It almost looks like a Super Nintendo game. So just remember, under view options, as long as your visual rendering and your custom textures is set to yes, you can then enable custom texture packs on selected Nintendo NES games. So what we can also do from here is add some filters as well. So what we can do from here is maybe add some scan lines. With custom textures enabled, if we open up Mega Man again, And of course, we can also do other video settings whilst we got those custom textures enabled. So for example, we can go to shader set. And if I just put this one to none, decorations, I'm gonna put this one to none. And I'm gonna turn this into a full screen. Integer scaling, I'm gonna put this one on so pixelation doesn't look as bad. Vertical sync, yes, which is gonna take away screen tear. And that's about it. So let's just open up the game one final time. And let me just remind you, if you get a black screen and you can't see any game, then go to Driver's Video and try switching over your video backend to something like Vulcan. For me, OpenGL works fine, which is selected as Auto. <laughs> And that's it for today's Retro Bat Nintendo NES HD Texture Setup Guide. So thanks again for the person who asked me to do this. Just reminded me that there was another HD guide to do for Retro Bat. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, check out my playlist. I've got two playlists, in fact, for Retro Bat. At this point, I've got a general help playlist as well as a setup guide like this one you watched today. If you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.